This is a quick video to show you how CrossTor works. Uh, I have an oscilloscope here, Roto Swartz uh, RTO. Uh, this is a nice oscilloscope uh, because it has a, a generator built in. So the generator signal is coming out here, uh, going into this test board that we use in the university course in uh, signal integrity. Uh, so the, the two traces here are running side by side uh, from these two BNCs to these two. So we're looking at the near end cross talk uh, on the oscilloscope right now. The near end cross talk, as you can see, uh, there's uh, some significant amount of cross talk. Now, this is with the other end of the trace terminated. So what happens if we remove the termination of, uh, let's try first the aggressor trace. So uh, we try that one and see what that does. Actually nothing. So we can leave, leave that one off if we want to. How about the victim trace? Well, there's some difference there. You can see the difference between having a termination or not having a termination, but not a big deal. What happens to far end crosstalk? So let's look at that. So now we have the, the victim trace signal coming out here in the far end. And as you can see, there's almost no crosstalk in the far end. That is how it works in the strip line environment. If we uh, remove the near end termination for the victim line, how does that work? Wow, all the crosstalk is back. You know why that is? Remember the crosstalk we saw for near end is now being reflected because there's no termination and it's showing up at the far end. That, that doesn't mean we call it far end crosstalk, it's still near end crosstalk, but, uh, but it shows up at the far end. What if we don't terminate the other trace? Oh, lots of crosstalk also. So why is that? Well, now you have the aggressor signal coming down this end, being reflected 100% and going that way. Now the signal traveling that way is inducing near and crosstalk, which shows up in this end, right? So now we have a signal going both ways in the aggressor, and that means we'll have both far end and near end uh, showing up. So let's get rid of the reflected near end crosstalk, and we're back to only having the far end crosstalk. I hope you found this useful. See you next time.